Having the right equipment is critical to achieving the best performance from your fungicide applications. In today's Iron Talk, I'll show you a small change that could make a big difference for you. With fungicides, you have to understand how they work in order to set up your sprayer to optimize their performance. There are two transport systems in the plant called the xylem and the phloem. The xylem can only move things upward in the plant. The phloem moves things like nutrients and water both up and down in the plant. Fungicides, once they're inside the plant, only move in the xylem. One other important consideration is that fungicides can only protect the leaves and plant parts that are out at the time of application. With this in mind, there are some little changes that you need to make on your sprayer compared to if you're spraying Roundup. First of all, with fungicides, you should use more spray volume with ground rigs performing mid-season applications. Your crop is up, it has some size to it now, you need the volume to penetrate the crop canopy and cover these plants. Secondly, you need the correct spray tips to make medium-sized droplets to get the best coverage. The big coarse droplets you try to use with Dicamba, 2,4-D, or Roundup are not nearly as effective when trying to apply fungicides. Flat fans work well for this droplet size, and many farmers are seeing even better results with twin fan nozzles, especially when you're trying to protect vertical plant parts like wheat heads, for example. Finally, your spray pressure should be fairly high to get penetration down through the crop canopy and to coat the plants. It's tough to do if you're running too fast with a ground rig, so slow down a little and do the job right. Spraying a fungicide is a lot different than spraying straight Roundup. Smaller droplet size, higher pressure, and higher water volumes help to achieve excellent coverage to get the job done right. That's all for today's Iron Talk, and now, back to the show.